I think it, it shows them that they are valued in their school communities, that they're important, and that um, first and foremost that there's people that care for them. There's people that want to make sure that they're looked after, and if they have a, a, a struggle, that there's someone there that will look into it at least and try to figure it out and help them get through it. Those uh, First Nations kids that are being bussed from a reserve and walking in your front doors. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Just getting up in the morning and getting to school is probably a lot more than a regular student will have to face in a whole school year. Some of these kids are up early they're riding on bumpy roads, you know. They're trying, you know, some of them are transferring buses here, and then they gotta travel off reserve. And that once they get to school, they've already gone through quite a bit just to get there. And I would say, you know, the school divisions, welcome those kids into the school and make them feel wanted, that they've come that far to walk into their school. And, you know, just, just understand those kids, you know, like it's not um, like some, I guess, provincial schools riding a, a bus or a vehicle to school that's paved all the way. It's not like that here. Some of these kids, it is a struggle to get there. And, you know, to be honest, sometimes you know, I've driven some of these roads or, you know, how long they have to ride the bus. Um, I don't know if I do it myself, but these kids are doing it and they, they're managing getting to school and they're still finishing school. Mm -hmm.